Hey everybody, got some poor lighting here, so sorry about that. Um, I just wanted to show you uh, some of the, seed, the seeds that have sprouted in the greenhouse. And this is the little greenhouse that's down in the basement here. Um, haven't got the big greenhouse yet. I did order it, and uh, it should be here sometime in the next week or two. Uh, I got the 40 bags of uh, gravel and and anchors and, and the other things coming too. So we should be able to put that together in the next couple of weeks and I can get this thing out of the basement and uh, any further seeds that I need to start um, I could do it outside. Definitely for next year too. So um, let's take a look at things here. Let's spin it around. Alright. Okay. From a distance, I don't have the sides zipped right now because um, I was just in there doing some things. Um, you remember last time I've got this greenhouse and I've, I've put some boards up to kind of support it since I don't have the long poles anymore on, on the edges. And before I had this lamp on the outside. Now I've got it on the inside. Uh, it's really, um, I think it's really helped with the temperature because uh, right now, let's just take a look here. In this room, this is fairly typical, 66 degrees. That's because I've had that lamp on over there for a little while. but. Uh, you know, normally when I come down here in the mornings for work, um, since I do work out of the out of the house, uh, it's probably 61, 62 degrees. So I think this is really helping out a lot. Um, I planted these seeds on the top row, and some of the seeds on the the bottom, the middle row here. I planted those um, on Sunday afternoon last week. It's Sunday evening, week later. Uh, when I came in Wednesday morning to work, the cauliflower and the broccoli had already sprouted. And that's what I've got here in the, that egg carton. And you, know, you can see kind of in there uh, some of the toilet paper rolls and and uh, further back in another egg carton. That's uh, cauliflower and broccoli. So those came up really quickly. Let me show you the, some of the rest of the stuff here. Uh, Swiss chard, I'm just kind of playing around with that. What I'm going to do mostly with that is uh, I'm going to plant that directly in the ground. not going to worry about anything uh, like transplanting with that. Um, Eva's burgundy lettuce. They had about ten seeds, I think, and five of them sprouted. Um, they're mostly all laying down. I don't know what uh, exactly happened there. Uh, I've been watering them very gently and uh, not directly onto the plants. So maybe I didn't get them quite deep enough um, so that the roots could settle in. Really, I only I only need a couple of plants, so I'm gonna let one go to seed, and then if it, it's if if it's good, I'll I'll go ahead and plant some more uh, throughout the season. Now this is lime basil. The lime basil I planted upstairs in the kitchen didn't do very well. It actually came up and then went and then died right away. Not sure what's going on. The peppers, nothing on the peppers yet. Um, right back behind that giant, that giant sprout right there. Nothing on the peppers. Uh, here are some peppers also right here. Nothing on the peppers yet. I'm, I'm a little worried, but since none of the peppers from any source have sprouted yet, I think I'm okay. Um, got a little bit of sprouts in the parsley, not too much. Um, Spinach is right here. This is the French spinach. This is the oak leaf lettuce. So I think those are doing very well. Uh, the thyme, doing great. Uh, today, I planted uh, tomatoes, three different kinds of tomatoes. Um, back there, that is the Amazon chocolate tomato that I've planted. Um, these are the wild Matt's wild cherry tomatoes. I still have a whole package of those, so if anything goes happens to go wrong. And then I've got the Voyage tomatoes, Voyager tomatoes, which uh, are, are tomatoes that look like they're a brain, basically. Um, really what I've done here is I've, I've just uh, taken toilet paper rolls and, and uh, paper towel rolls, and I actually had some uh, rolls from uh, wrapping paper over Christmas. And I cut those down to about uh, two and a half, three inch tall, filled them with dirt, um, almost up to the top, put my seeds in, covered the rest with dirt, watered them gently. Uh, I water them a few other times. They're going to get moist, the outside, since it's paper, cardboard. It's going to get a little flimsy on you, but it's not going to fall apart, really. 
and when you go to transplant, um, it's going to be really nice because you're just going to have to lift it up. See, dirt's not falling out. It, it's it's really good. Um, you can plant it directly in the ground. You can plant it in another pot to transplant. Or if you do happen to want to take them out for some reason, you could just uh, since since they are paper and uh, since they when they get wet they're a little flimsy, um, you can just tear the side off um, fairly easily and and pop your plant out. Now, um, like I said, the greenhouse is going to be here not too much time. So uh, any any other seeds I have uh, on the calendar that I need to plant, I think I'm going to go for it. Uh, at least wait into the greenhouse, or just plant them directly in the ground. The community garden. Uh, let me let me show you this while I'm talking about that. I got the uh, I got a hundred white onions and a uh, hundred red onions. Um, unfortunately, the red ones have uh, decided to sprout, and I've got them with a lid in a shoebox to kind of try to prevent any kind of uh, growth, but that's not happening. So I really, really, really need to get those out there. I don't know how early is too early to plant onions. Um, like I was going to say, that I, the community garden opens up tomorrow for people to start doing things. Tomorrow, I think, is very early um, in the season to plant onions. I'm actually going to plant potatoes at home on the 17th ish St. Patrick's Day somewhere around there I thought maybe I could do the onions about the same time I don't think that would be too early for them uh, since a lot of people overwinter their onions in their gardens um, but with these being so small and actually starting to sprout already I don't know we've still got another at that point we're still gonna have another month of uh, frost at least um, so I'm, I'm a little nervous and I also want to transplant some lettuce and uh, probably by that point, I'm, I'm thinking maybe some of the, the broccoli and cauliflower. Like I said, the the, the greenhouse, the, the 8x10 greenhouse, um, the materials, all that's supposed to be here in, in a couple of weeks at least. I uh, should have the gravel here any anyway. Um, from Let's see, I ordered the greenhouse from Harbor Freight, the gravel from Lowe's, and um, some of the anchors and uh, the cobalt bit um, drill bits. So I can drill through the metal frame and, and actually put the anchors on. I ordered those from Amazon. So as soon as all of that gets here, put it together. and I'm definitely going to film that. There's going to be some comedy value right there, I think, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I also wanted to show you real quick. This is the sweet potato. I've got a little root sticking off the side. It's only been in there about a week. Um, I've got some kind of, I don't know if it's a root. Let's see if I can zoom in on it here. Um, Yes, I do have this on an ancient Hewlett Packard laser jet printer that I use for work. Um, part of the reason I have that on and I have it on there is because it keeps it warm in this area, as you can imagine, uh, with ancient technology like that. Um, I don't know if I move this back and forth, if you could see it. There's just kind of a... Uh, some kind of film or something on, on that potato, sweet potato. I thought maybe it was roots forming. I've changed the water um, a couple of times. Uh, I've noticed the sweet potato is starting to not be quite as firm, so I'm I'm hoping that it's not rotting. But the fact that this it looks like this root has started out here, I'm hoping that I'm going to get some slips um, starting in these eyes up here, so I can plant some sweet potato plants. Um, if not, I have a source on eBay. I got uh, my onions on eBay. Um, I like shopping on eBay eBay for uh, seeds and garden things sometimes. It uh, kind of is a little adventurous. Um, find things that you don't find in catalogs often. And uh, then of course the two seed companies that I've gone with here. Now, backup plan, disaster plan. Um, if if this is a disaster like it was last year, I'm, I have plans on going to the store and buying seedlings. Again, uh, I also have quite a few seeds left over from just about everything but the tomatoes. So, worst comes to worst, I just plant directly in the ground if, uh, if things go poorly here. Or I start another quick batch in the greenhouse and, you know, with as quick as these have sprouted, I don't think that would be a problem. Okay, well, thanks everybody, and uh, hope to see you soon. I'll talk to you later uh, here on the, on the comments page and uh, through emails. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. If you have any tips or you know, just want to reply to the video, um, go for it. All right, take care, everybody. Bye.